Let's right. get a look at our first alert forecast now. Lonnie Quinn standing by. We had some rain that went through the area a little, uh, a little bit today, right? A, a little bit. Now, north of the city actually had some pretty good storms that came through, but they were in and out pretty quickly, KJ, so nobody picked up a huge amount of rain. And the city has been, you know, pretty much on the light side. And we've actually got a couple of little raindrops out there right now, I'll show you, but otherwise, a partly cloudy sky. All right, let's get right into it. You are looking at the high temperatures today, and you hit 77. We talked about hitting 79 for Poughkeepsie, but the biggest numbers, lower 80s, Newark over to Somerville hitting 81 degrees today. You were cooler out east with a high of 66. And out east right now, a couple of raindrops for you. This is not much anything, but it's out there. And actually, we talked about the city. You can zoom in tight there. Just exiting now Manhattan, but we've got you know, some raindrops falling in, you know, Brooklyn, Queens, over towards Nassau County. It's all going to be gone as you start your day tomorrow. What's not going to be gone, the winds are going to kick in. All right, now take a look at this. Here we have them in the teens and the, in the lower 20s for the most part. By the time you get to 630, a lot of the area looking at wind gusts, maybe 25 to 30 miles per hour. That's going to give you a wind chill in the early morning hours. And plus, you've got cool temperatures. If you have a temperature below 50 degrees, that's where you can have wind chill. If it's above 50, we don't even compute them. So. We, we see wind chills in the morning. You get to, say, the afternoon hours. The winds have dissipated single digits for some folks out there, you know, 10 to 15 elsewhere. So wind chill not a factor in the afternoon. You end up having a high temperature of 68 degrees tomorrow. So it's a cooler day, but it's a brighter day. What I mean by that is we've had that sort of smoky haze in the sky. Now, all coming from those, Calif those uh, Canadian wildfires well out west. Well, this front that came through is going to just sort of scour the atmosphere. It should be a, a nice blue sky tomorrow. 68, you're on the breezy side in the morning, not so much in the afternoon. Here's the news I've got to share, because I think this is the best news of all. It's a big holiday weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, right across the board. We do not see the rain chances. They were building at one point, we thought 10, 20, maybe 30 percent. Nope, 74 Saturday, 76 Sunday, 78 on Monday. And the rain chances? Right now, if it changes, I'll let you know, but right now they're non-existent. In fact, they are non-existent across the board. A seven-day forecast with no rain chances for you. Uh, after you go through the holiday weekend, Tuesday, you're 77. That's the first day of June. Can you believe that? And then 80 degrees on Wednesday with a nice sky overhead. Wow, that's a great-looking holiday. A really-looking night? No <laughs> complaints. And so often, Memorial Day can be iffy, yeah. right? This we, one? We got a good one. Looks pretty good. Thank you, Lonnie.